Hey, the washing machine's running. It's in spin mode. I was in the middle of feeding the dogs. I thought I'd go in here and check this. So we are drawing 34 amps off batteries right now. That's on AC. So that's quite a bit, but we're okay. Uh, it's charging at 42.35 amps and 12.7 volts, and we're drawing 3.42 amps off of the uh, DC, the 12 volt. So it's all working okay. I noticed when it's on startup, the 110 hit over 90 amps. Should still be okay. That's I will have to look up and see exactly what's going on there, but I'm pretty sure that the startup uh, current is going to be a lot higher than the run current. And uh, this thing, the fan isn't even kicking on, so we're okay there. Just wanted to come in here and check all that. That's one of the higher currents that I've seen, 33 amps. That's one of the higher currents that I've seen. But we do need to get more solar panels up. Um, I'm going to have to go to town again, or been to town just way too much. But I'm out of dog food. Um, got enough for tonight, so I better get some more. Um, making a list that I'll forget to take with me. I didn't know it, but this washing machine had a, a heavy mode. When I put it in the heavy mode, it seems to run the cycles quite a bit longer. It's this uh, heavy mode with the air dry, whatever that is. So, and this is the idea, and there's the model number right there. Pretty neat little refrigerator, or refrigerator washing machine. I don't have the hot water side hooked up to it yet. I should do that because uh, I'm going to be washing some nasty stuff here in a little bit. I'm probably going to need hot water on that. But it's a nice day out there, a little bit breezy. It's 46 degrees. Would have liked to have gone for a ride on the bike, but that's probably not going to happen today. But, and right now I'm working on a video, yesterday's stuff. So back to work. Back on the washer again. Uh, this washer is running on a 15 amp fuse. I'm pretty sure. Let me go look. That was like the second fuse we put in. And it's a 20 amp fuse. So the washing machine is running off a 20 amp fuse and right now it's saying we're at, it's at 15 amps on the 110. So most of that amperage that you saw there is coming from this. We're using a lot, actually using less than what uh, that's showing, but because the this is using quite a bit of power to create the power to run the washing machine. That's the best way I can explain it right there. It's using a lot of energy to create the energy to run the, the washing machine. And right now we're at 66 amps. So that can't be drawn more than 20 amps. And the wires in there, there's nothing, there's nothing even warm in there. As far as this one goes, the uh, shunt isn't warm. Nothing there's even kind of warm. Not, not even the shunt for the uh, solar panels charging the batteries. That's charging at 40 amps at the moment, 45 amps. One of the panels, something in there cycling because that's going up and down in current. That's what we want it to do. 
I really like that little washing machine. I wish I had known it had that heavy function before. I guess that's what instructions are for. Have to read those every once in a while. I don't know why. So, got 24 minutes remaining. And I think it's filling back up with water now. So, back to work. Well, got the laundry done. I took the dogs for a long, long walk. Went out and found one of the harder to find property lines and uh, just goofed around. Found a whole bunch of meteors. I'm sorting them out into categories. Right there. All these actually attract to the magnet. Let me find that magnet. Kind of pull around all over the place. So I gotta take them and have them tested. And then, who knows? I think what we've got is a strewn field. Pretty sure. The dogs are happy though, it wore them out. They've been really quiet for the last few hours. Uh, came back and Started on that wall. Whoops, gotta trip over stuff. But I started on that wall, got it uh, going pretty good. There's what I was looking for earlier. But I'm gonna have to go back to town and get more of this wood. I'm not gonna spend a ton of money, just not gonna do it. I know. I'm not going to get all this finished, but I can get a lot of it done. The big reason I'm going back is uh, I'm out of dog food. I forgot to get dog food yesterday. So I made a list right there, which I better put in my pocket or I'll forget to take it. That is important. Must have list. Yep, there it is. So that's going in my pocket right now. The kids, the dogs were really good out there. They didn't go more than very far from me at all. Sheldon ran and ran and ran. Baby got some cactus in his nose. I got my laundry out there drying. It smells good at least. It smells like fresh laundry. Um, but that's about it. When I get back, I probably might not do much. We'll have to see. Uh, I've got 14 more of the Beetle Kill boards. This one up here, that's Beetle Kill. And I'm going to put those in just random places rather than try and put them all on one spot or anything like that. But uh, it's really pretty wood. Got 14 more of them. I thought I had more than that. But that's all beetle kill stacked up there. And while I'm looking at wood, I'll look and see if they have any more. But I need to get running. Don't want to be too late tonight. Oh, well, I guess I need to turn the TV down before I start this. I have no idea what's on. Looks like some people will swim in a wreck. Uh, I'm going to try an experiment. I want the back porch light to be on all the time at night. I don't necessarily want it on during the day. So I'm going to hook it up to the load. Just going to change the way this is done back here and hook the porch light up to the load. We will see if that works, see if it comes on when the sun goes down. That's what's supposed to happen. It works like a street light turns on when the sun goes down. I'm going to give that a try. I'll be back. 
going to be taking the kids for a walk here in a minute. But I got this wired for the load. And the load is set for 24 hours, which means it should go on when it stops charging. <coughs> when there's no sunlight, it should turn on. And when the sun comes back, it should turn off. But I had a junction block for the ground. You have to have a junction block for the ground with these controllers because it appears that the ground is what turns off and on. And I put in another block for the um, for the whatever that is I put that block in for. I forget. I did something. Anyhow, I put a fuse in for that light so it's on its own fuse. Yay. I remembered. But we'll see how it works tonight. Um, I'm hoping it works okay. You can program this to, to supposedly, I didn't find the setting. <coughs> A lot of dust. Uh, you can program that to um, turn on an hour after an, uh, sunset and an hour before sunrise. When it, when it uh, first starts detecting light, it'll turn off and on. So as soon as there's no light to be detected at all, it turns itself on. So that's what I did. I got that up and running. I think I'm going to just take the dogs for a walk now. They do need their walk. I'm going to try and go for a bike ride. We'll see how that goes. Maybe barking at the new light that I just put in. It's a scary light, I guess. What a dog. I got Sue's motorcycle lamp up. I wonder how much that's drawn. Shut this off and I'll go check real quick. <clears throat> gonna have to bring the bikes in tonight because we're gonna have weather. Uh, about strong less than an amp because I've still got the, the cameras running on that so that's really good really really good All right, back. Okay, that's Sue's lamp that she wanted put in and it's put in it's a motorcycle lamp or something the bulb is an LED filament bulb. I don't know if you can read that or not. It's from Monster, 12 volt Monster. I got it on Amazon. Pretty cool bulb. I like the color. Kind of yellowish. It's supposed to be like an Edison bulb. But oh, I'm going to throw the box away. You can get all kinds of those on Amazon, that style, and they're they're pretty neat. Back to work. I shut off everything and show you that light again. Just it's a mood light. Uh, that's what uh, how much light that little bulb puts out. It's only using 0.15 amps. That's what I'm calculating it at. And that's pretty darn good. But that'll work like tonight when I let the dogs out and stuff like that. Don't want too much light because you end up blind after after you shut it off. I can read by that actually. Pretty good little light. Pretty cool. Okay, gonna walk to the back again. Yeah, I got both bikes in here. Um, The load is working for the outside light. You can see the little arrow going up and up and up. That just indicates that it's charging. Or not charging, but operating the load. So this light is on. And I also have a switch right here that I can turn it off if I want to. I'm going to leave that on at night. Come on in, Sheldon. Come on. 
You want to stay out? Come on. Oh, he wants to play. He wants to bark at the leaves. Alright, so things were coming together. I didn't do anything to the walls today. I just kind of moved stuff around so I could get the bikes in. Got the load working and got Sue's light installed. So, I'm going to turn this light off. Nothing good on TV, so time to do something about dinner. Talk to y'all. Before I finish this video, I've had a lot of comments on that light up there. There's a close-up of the bulb. I don't know if you can really see it or not, but uh, that's a little Edison bulb. And this is where they're from. Wow Factor Lighting. WowFactorLighting.com They've got a few things. But it's kind of neat. I've had a lot of comments on Facebook about it. Uh, I really like it. Sue, Sue did a pretty good job on picking that out. Uh, it kind of fits in with the house, too. I had to... Uh, that's a 12-volt bulb. You don't have to really do any modifications at all to uh, make a standard outlet into a 12-volt outlet. So, uh, I had to create a base up there on top just to hold it together, drilled a hole, spliced the wires with uh, butt connectors, and uh, you do need to make sure that the wire going into the socket is the 12 volt uh, positive. These bulbs I found will work either positive or negative. So uh, keep that in mind if you put those up there. But that's pretty cool light. Now I'm going to get this, this one here published. Uh, I'm working on that wall right now. I don't want to make the video too long so I'm going to get this done.